Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Shah Riyar Mamedjarov and Magnus Carlsen. This is a game from the Baku Grand Prix tournament played in 2008. Shah Riyar Mamedjarov had white pieces and he started with d4. Magnus Carlsen played knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to f3, b6 going for the queen's Indian defense. g3, bishop to b7, bishop to g2, bishop to e7, and both players castled kingside. White to move. Knight to c3 is the most played move in this position. Mamejaro played rook to e1. Mamejaro prepared something different. Knight to a6, knight to e5, bishop takes on g2, king takes bishop, black to move, c5 was expected. Magnus Carlsen played c6, e4, queen to c7, knight to c3, queen to b7, knight to d3 intending e5, d5, e5, knight to d7, c takes on d5, c takes on d5. White has a space advantage. Surely Mamejan was happy to get this position from the opening. But how to make a progress? What would you do? Mamejaro played h4, knight to b4, bishop to g5, knight takes on d3, queen takes on d3, bishop to b4, rook from e to c1, a6, knight to e2, rook from f to c8, h5, Carlsen played h6, attacking the bishop. Perhaps bishop to f4 was expected, maybe bishop to d2. Instead, a3 was played, bishop to f8, if h takes on g5, a takes on b4. Carlsen didn't want to have this position, so he played bishop to f8. Bishop to d2, rook takes rook, rook takes rook, rook to c8, offering to trade rooks, rook to f1. Mamejarov played ambitiously. b5, f4, queen to c6, intending queen to c2. Trading queens, maybe. Rook to c1, queen to b7. Rook to f1, queen to c6. Surely Carlsen would be happy with a draw. Queen to f3, black to move. Queen to b6, why not queen to c2? Then rook to c1, and after queen takes bishop, rook takes rook. White stands much better. Back to our game. Queen to b6 was played. White to move. There is a move that is asking to be played, and that is pawn to f5. Pawn takes pawn on f5. Let's take it back. How about rook to c2 invading the second rank? Well, this would be a bad move because of bishop to c3, and the rook is trapped. Back to our game. Pawn takes pawn on f5. Perhaps queen takes on f5 was expected. Instead, bishop to c3 was played. What's wrong with queen takes pawn on f5? Then probably Carlsen would play queen to e6. Back to our game. In this position, bishop to c3, not rushing to take the pawn. a5, let's take it back. What's wrong with queen to e6 now? Then knight to f4. That was the idea. Back to our game. That is why Carlsen played a5, threatening b4 with a counterplay on the queen's side. How would you prevent black from playing b4? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? 
in this position. Mamedaro played an amazing move. Are you ready to see the move? The move is Bishop takes pawn kaboom. Amazing, isn't it? Sacrificing a piece against the world champion. Queen takes bishop, what else? Queen takes on f5. White is threatening. Queen takes pawn on f7. It is now easy to understand why Mamejaro sacrificed the bishop. When the queen was on b6, she can easily go to e6 to defend the pawn on f7. The game continued. Queen to d2. Threatening queen takes knight. Queen takes on f7. Check. King to h8. Rook to f2. Rook to d8 defending the knight. Queen takes on d5. For the sacrificed piece, white has three pawns. And white is also threatening knight to f4. Carlsen played queen to a5. Intending queen to a8. Knight to f4. Queen to a8. Offering to trade queens. The white queen is pinned. White to move. White. Play the move and black resigned and the move is knight to g6 check. Carlsen resigned for the entertainment purpose. I will show you just one line. King to h7. Queen takes queen. Rook takes queen. Rook to f7. Threatening. Rook takes knight. And if the knight moves, then white wins a piece on f8. If defending, what happens then? Then rook takes knight on d7. After rook takes rook, knight takes bishop check. And after king to g8, knight takes rook. And I guess we can stop here. What a game. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.